In this video I'm going to show how to crochet this flower. This flower in the center has uh, bullion stitches or wrapped stitches. If you don't know how to make this stitch, please go to the lesson 8 and learn how to crochet this uh, stitch first. And then you can come back to this video and learn how to make this flower. So in order to have to make this flower you will need yarn. I pick up medium uh, yarn just for the purpose of the video that you can see better stitches and my and the hook. Um, uh, the hook I use 3.75 millimeters and I use two hooks. One uh, just um, a hook that we will use to crochet um, all stitches and for bullion stitch the crochets, uh, crochet uh, hook with um, attached tapestry needle to it, uh, attached by a comfort grip. If you cannot find comfort grip you can attach um, this uh, tapestry needle to the hook by uh, wrapping around band-aid or some tape, uh, like uh, duct tape or something like that. And um, just pick up any yarn you have to practice uh, this piece. So for um, to make this you can write down first a few things that uh, will help you to make this flower. It is um, like instructions. You can take a piece of paper and pen and write things down. So the first thing you will do, this is the number one uh, step. Uh, it's uh, make a chain out of six or seven stitches, depends on how loose you are, and connect the chain into the ring. After that, after you connect it in the ring, crochet around the ring 14 single crochet stitches. 14 single crochet stitches. After you're done with single crochet stitches around the ring, you will have to make a uh, chain, uh, turning chain of three stitches and then you're ready to crochet this uh, part of the flower with boolean stitches. So you will have to pick up your new uh, different hook with tapestry needle and crochet around this ring 14 boolean stitches. 14 boolean stitches. So you will insert the hook Every time you make boolean stitch, make um, wrap around the hook your yarn eight times, you will insert the hook into each stitch on this ring. And you make 14 of those. After you finish this ring, the next step will be on the next round um, to crochet those arches. So each arch consists of five stitches and connect it to the previous ring with a slip stitch. And every time you make it, you skip one bullion stitch. So you, um, when you're at the very beginning, you make first a chain out of five stitches, skip one stitch, bullion stitch, and connect to the previous row to the next bullion stitch with a slip stitch. Again, chain 5 and skip one boolean stitch out of a previous row and connect to the next boolean stitch with a slip stitch and so on. And this way you crochet around the circle to the end. After you're done with that, this is when we begin to crochet the petals of the flower. So each petal will consist of two half double crochets, uh, two double crochet, two or three, depends again how full you want your petal to be. You can uh, add three uh, triple crochets and again you go down to uh, curve, with the curve down to make it look like a petal, you make again two double crochet stitches and two half double crochet stitches. Every time you come to the to this area right here, right over there, to the point where you connect it to the ring, your arch, you also make a slip stitch inside the previous uh, slip stitch. 
and this way you create a crochet around this flower. So let's take this together and you will see how I do this. <clears throat> so make a chain out of six stitches and connect the chain in a ring. I like to take my short tail and put behind the ring like this wrap around clockwise so basically from the when you're looking at you from the front it will be this way wrap around clockwise and then crochet 14 single crochet stitches around the ring Fourteen single crochet stitches. After you're done crocheting your fourteen crochet stitches around the ring, at the very end, make a. Here's assuming my last fourteenth stitch. Make a slip stitch to close the ring. Insert the hook into the first single crochet stitch under the two loops. Grab the yarn and make a slip stitch. So your first round is done, 14 single crochet stitches. For the second row uh, round to make bullion stitches we need to have a turning chain. So chain 3 stitches, 1, 2, 3. And now you it's time to change crochet hook. Pick up the hook with attached to it um, tapestry needle and put it around the uh, stitch around the hook and the needle together. Basic, actually you can have that needle uh, that a stitch inside between uh, the first stitch between those two between the hook and the needle but it's not always comfortable because if you will do that the first uh, the, the stitch will be kind of pinched in there and you need flexibility movement of movements uh, of stitches in here so I would recommend to put it around the, sti the, the hook and the needle together so now we're ready to make a bullion stitch so the stitch around the hook and the tapestry needle make eight wraps around the hook and the needle. So wrap the yarn around eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Now insert the hook into the next stitch right over here. inside and your needle also can go in if you wish. Grab the yarn, bring the yarn out and make sure that two things are happening. That first of all you will not slip this one wrap from the uh, needle. You cannot go. It's very easy to slip it down. And the next important part that your stitch that you just made is between the hook and the needle. Okay, now holding the uh, wraps on the hook, move the hook to the right or slip those uh, the yarn or wraps around the hook from the hook. Slip it. You can pull on it just a little bit to make it a little bit higher. Now again grab the yarn with the hook and pass it through the stitch. Again wrap around the hook yarn eight times and 
insert the hook into the next stitch on the ring, right over there. Grab the yarn and bring it out. The stitch is between the hook and the needle. Now holding the wraps, slide them from the hook. Sometimes that what happened with me is that the, the stitch that I had around, the first stitch that I had around the um, needle and the uh, hook slide down by itself and it's there. I just did not have chance to wrap it. Don't worry about it. You can finish it and then grab the yarn and make a stitch. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Insert the hook into the ring, to the next stitch, pick up the yarn, the stitch between hook and the needle, and slide the stitches from the hook. Grab the yarn with the hook only and make a stitch. So continue doing this 14 times. You need 14 boolean stitches around this ring. You can stop the video and come back with your last stitch made. So when you have to make the last stitch right over here into the ring, I have to make, I already have 13 stitches, we'll make the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight wraps and we're inserting the hook into the last stitch, sometimes it can be very complicated at the end, bring the stitch out and slide the stitches off the hook, like this. Again grab the yarn, make a stitch, and now you can change the hook. Take this hook down, put this hook down, take another hook, and continue. Connect this ring by inserting the hook into this arch between the turning chain and between the first boolean stitch. Insert the hook there, grab the yarn, you have two stitches and make a slip stitch, like this. So now you have connected ring. The next step we're making those arches around the boolean stitches. The next round, crochet chain of five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Chain five. Here we have, you can actually, to make it a little bit better and easier, you can make another slip stitch right here into the top on the top of that first boolean stitch right over here on the top of it just a slip stitch and now chain five two three four five skip one stitch one boolean stitch skip this one and insert the hook into the next one, into the third boolean stitch on the top of it. You will have chains over here, so this is where you will insert your uh, stitch, right here. And make a slip stitch. Again, chain five, mm -hmm. 
two, three, four, five. Skip one boolean stitch and insert the hook on the top of this. And always under the two loops. Make a slip stitch. Again, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Slip one, insert the hook on the top of the boolean stitch and slip knot, slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Insert the hook right over here. Back on the top. Slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five. And insert slip slip one skip one and insert the hook into the top of the boolean stitch to make slip stitch one two three four five and skip one stitch and insert the hook under both stitches make a slip stitch and the last the last one is one two three four five and again have skip one and insert now right here where the arch the first arch begin right above the turning chain right there slip stitch okay now we're ready to make petals so yarn over insert the hook inside the arch pick up the yarn have three stitches on a hook make have double crochet another one have double crochet two have double crochet stitches again in the same arch double crochet two double crochet one two two treble crochets right in the same place Another one, next two double crochet, one, two, and half double crochet, and another half double crochet. So first petal is done. Now <coughs> insert the hook inside right here where we were and make slip no, slip stitch and crochet next petal to have double crochet stitches then again two double crochet stitches two treble crochet stitches two double crochet stitches two half double crochet stitches. Every time you come to the place um, where the arch is connected to the previous ring, make in that spot si slip stitch. So crochet to the point when you will have all your stitches, all your petals done. And I have my last petal to finish. Have double crochet, 
another half double crochet double crochet double crochet two triple cr triple crochets double crochet double crochet and two half double crochet stitches and we're done with the last petal after you're done with the last petal and you made it the final step is to go into this beginning where we had slip stitch insert hook into it and make another slip stitch and then what I like to do you can go on the very back pick up stitch right here somewhere closest one and make another slip stitch on the back that way you will not see the ending and kind of uneven uh, stitch anywhere here and this is when you can cut the yarn Always remember to cut a nice long piece, 7 to 10 inches, and you're done. Weave this piece of yarn into the back, any way you can find a way to make it, uh, to weave it in such a way that you will not see it, that it will not be visible, like right here. And you're done, you finished your flower. If you need pattern, if you didn't have chance to write it down, you can come back watch video again, or request your pattern on our by uh, writing us uh, Irish Crochet Lab at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.